In today's video, we have triad pairs and how you can use them when you improvise. The easy way. <laughs> So in today's video, I'm going over triad pairs and how you can use them when you improvise, in particular, what chords to use them on when you do so. And additionally, I'm going to have a bunch of patterns uh, to go over that you can check out both on my website, www.demarius.com. And while you're there, be sure to check out all the other free stuff. I have a tons of things from previous videos that you can download, uh, hopefully to help you out in your playing. And if you like content like this, consider subscribing, leaving a like and commenting and doing all of that stuff. And without further ado, here we go. So the most common triad pair combination, I would say is probably major triads that are a whole step apart. So for this video, I'm going to be using an F major triad and a G major triad. So for the very first example, which I'll have down here, all I'm simply doing is playing those two major triads, F and G, in root position, for both and then I'm going to play first inversion, second version, third inversion and repeat with root. So simply put, all I'm doing is playing 1 3 5 of F F A C and G G B D and then I'm playing 3 5 1 of both and then 5 3 1 of both. Here's a little bit of what it sounds like. <laughs> And so here is a clip of what it sounds like in context over a C major vamp. So that example, like I said before, was a C major vamp. You can also use the same triad pair of F and G over a D minor vamp. And also a G7 vamp. So essentially, you can use this over any mode of C. So let's simplify that even more. A 2-5-1 in the key of C, the two you have a D minor 7, which like I said, you can use F and G, and then a G7, the G dominant, you can still use F and G, and then C major, you can use F and G. So essentially, you can use that whole triad pattern and any of the patterns that I'm gonna play later on in the video over the entire 2-5-1 sequence. So let's hear what that sounds like. Here's example number one over a two, five, one and a key of C or my C pattern. Here it is. Ooh, I'm out of tune. And here's a quick pro tip as well. And this applies to all of the rest of the patterns that I'm going to play here in the video. Practice these patterns backwards as well. So example number one would sound a little bit like this. All right, now that we know what chords we can utilize these triad pairs over, let's go ahead and hear and see a few more examples. You may like one more than you like the other, uh, but either way, all of these things are good uh, to practice, to get under your fingers and improve your technique in your ear. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, I hope you like those examples. Here is one more that I really, really enjoy. It has more of an outside sound and you can be creative in where you use this. But this is gonna be a triad pair that's separated by a tritone. So for this example, I'm going to use D major triad and G sharp or a flat major triad. <laughs> So that particular triad pair, uh, the triads being separated by a tritone, works really, really well over a Lydian dominant seventh chord, or simply put, a dominant sharp 11 chord. So what I'm gonna do for you to hear this one in context, we're actually gonna play uh, There Will Never Be Another You. Try to listen throughout the tune and see if you can pick out where I utilize that triad pair sequence. Here we go. A one. So there you have it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Make sure you head on over to the website, get that free PDF, do all of those things. Like, comment, and subscribe. Share it with a friend. Check me out on Instagram and Facebook or the metaverse or whatever it's called. My handle on all of those platforms is Demarius Jackson Music. And until next time, I'll see you on the next video. Out.